So it's Friday and the sun is shining and I'm lying to you from the very beginning because it's not even Friday, it's, it's Thursday today. Um, but this is going up tomorrow and Thursday's been the new Friday since like forever. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, another telltale sign, I actually bothered to wash my hair today, which I don't do because I firmly believe that nobody should be forced to wash their hair on a Friday if they don't want to. Anyway, complete besides the point, today I'm going to show you my fun Friday, <laughs> fun Friday, uh, healthy pizza dough, no rise olive oil pizza dough recipe. So the reason I call this healthy is yes, it's still a carb, look at how much flour is going into there. Um, but it's not a bread. <laughs> this is how I like to justify it. And it's made using olive oil, which, as you know, I think is, you know, healthiest, greatest thing on, on the face of this planet. So I like to convince myself that it's healthy, but it probably isn't. Anyway, what it is, certainly, without question, is quick. There is no yeast, so no rising, none of that. If you are the type of person that likes a big, thick, crusty, bready pizza base, this is not the recipe for you. Nada, nada, nada. This will give you a really thin, almost pastry-like base. Um, very crisp, um, quite a little bit crumbly. Um, still chewy, you still got a little bit of chew there, but, uh, but definitely not bready. Um, so just, you know, up front, being honest about it. Um, but I tend to like my pizzas super duper thin anyway. I like those really traditional Italian, super thin crust pizzas. So this is absolutely fine. Um, anyway. Once again, I'm making a video that could be two minutes into like a seven minute video. So I'm just going to start. I have here 400 grams of grams, sorry. <coughs> oh God, I'm actually coughing over the flour. Okay, this is just for me and Ted. <coughs> Woo, -hoo. poor hygiene at its best. Um, it wasn't a big cough, it wasn't a spluttery one. It's a little, <coughs> I'm making it worse, I've got to stop. I have. 400 grams of pasta flour. Um, so all you need is some fine milled flour. So anything that's type 00, zero or even just type 0 will do for this. Um, or it might just be called pasta flour. To that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Give that a little stir through. And then in here I have um, 200 mils of plain water and 100 mils of olive oil. So I am going to start adding this. I'm going to start with a spoon, although I will get my hands dirty soon. Add some more. Now, depending on um, the type of flour you use, the age of flour you use, um, like with anything, you might need a little more or a little less liquid. I'm going to start with, I usually find that 300 to 400, so 300 liquid total, 400 flour total, um, is usually a pretty good place to start, but sometimes I make it and it's really wet, and sometimes I make it and I need way more water and olive oil, so we'll see how we go. Okay, add some more. Olive oil smells so good. I've noticed that whenever I um, stir or do things in videos, my mouth does the weirdest things. It doesn't feel like it's moving at all. And then I'll look back at the video and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. Um, so I make a really conscious effort to like, keep my mouth really still. Okay, time to go in with the hands. things. Bit of a push. Oh, and look at that. Just because I'm filming today, the gods have looked down on me and been nice and it is exactly the right amount of oil and water. Although, do I have any left in here? Nope. Perfect. Look at that. So, once it's sort of at this lovely soft dough stage, get it out. Give it a little bit of a knead. You don't actually need to 
need to knead. <laughs> you don't actually need to knead the dough in the sense that you're particularly stretching out any gluten or anything like you would with a bread flour. But what you want is you just want to make sure that everything's combined really equally and evenly. So there are no pockets of flour or um, pockets of oil or anything. It doesn't need long. And that is it. There we have, oh, there's a little dry bit, we'll leave that there. Um, that's it. That really is oh, hair hair on my mouth, that really is all there is to it. Um, this can happily be wrapped in cling film and kept in the fridge for a couple of days. And all you need to do when you're ready to go is use it like any other um, pasta dough, pasta dough, pizza dough, uh, roll it out. So this will make probably about two decent sized pizzas this much. Um, I mean, I'm judging it. Yeah, about two decent sized pizzas. Um, well, I usually make this much and it makes about two decent sized pizzas. Have I said two decent sized pizzas enough yet? Um, and I'm actually going to have this on Friday, so I will be having it tomorrow. I'm going to pop it in the fridge overnight and I was telling you how to use it. Cut it in half, roll it out nice and thin and then just cover with your toppings. No need to pre-bake it or anything like that first. Cover it in your toppings. On some, I put it on some grease-free paper or on a pizza tin tray thing if you're very posh and you have one of those and in a hot oven until it looks great. Um, so enjoy. I'm sorry that was a bit rambly as usual but I'm coming to discover having made videos for a while now that that seems to be my style. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoy it and hope you have a fantastic weekend and you are really enjoying this wonderful sunshine. Bye!